What up, family? Happy Saturday, man. We're still here in San Diego. Wife and I are gonna fly out tomorrow. Uh, we supposed to fly out today, but we re um, the wife rescheduled because there's some things that she wants to get, to still stay and do and check out. So we are going to fly out tomorrow. But I want to jump in here. I was gonna do a video, but to me, man, when I'm traveling like this, it's a lot easier if I just jump on live and I take a little moment here. The wife is actually. Um, um, she's doing some stuff right now, so I want to jump in. I want to share with you guys something that's on my mind, man, and uh, give you guys a little bit about, you know, some tips, my opinion, my experience um, uh, on business. So sometimes, you guys, it's sometimes taking a step backward is actually good for you. And, and let me share with you what I mean by that. Sometimes taking step taking a step backward will help you, will launch you, and move you two, three, four step forward right a lot of times taking a step backward so you can reorganize right look at your business right look at the, your, your business the structure of your business getting a system in place putting an employee in place so sometimes taking uh, give us an example absolutely man I'll give you an example bro I will give you an example dude so take a step backward man you know so when I first got into real estate man when I first got into real estate bro Man, I was going and going and going and going and going. So I was, um, so, for, so for those of you who've been following me for a long time, man, when I first got started in real estate, man, I got into the whole fix and flip game, man. And I was, this, this is what I did. I was, I was always looking for the next deal, right? Looking for the next deal to lock up, put on the contract. And I was flipping. I was marketing. I was doing everything at the same time. I was going, 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 going so quick, dude, that I, that I, that 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 that, 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 that after I've done with the whole fix and flip, that money comes in. I t that money automat all of a sudden came back out again for another deal. So it goes in and go out, it'll go in and go out, and I never even see the money, and I never, hello, and I never let the, I never let, I never let the dust settle, right? And I, I, I used to remember, man, when I was hanging out with, uh, I was hanging out with uh, the vice president. Uh, of one of my bank and, and he said Kong you got to let the dust settle man and I said I, I said I can't man I got a big goals I got a big dreams I gotta go catch man I'm not you know I, 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 I can't let the dust settle man I gotta go 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 and dude I was so unorganized dude I was so unorganized I didn't know how much money was coming in how much money was coming out I didn't know paying my contract I didn't have a system in place I didn't have time to hire an employee like I just didn't have the time because I didn't like I didn't want to take a step backward because when I take a step backward it felt like I'm going backward for example I didn't want to spend the next one month two months maybe stop the marketing maybe analyze or get the stuff organized look at my business where it's at right um, do I need to hire an employee and if I do which one should I hire first? Take time to train them. I didn't do any of that because I was so busy, man, just hustling and going and going and going, but I forgot about getting things organized and putting a system in place and have the people in place and then go out there and continue the hustle. You know, so so for me, it's like now, now knowing what I know now, man, it's like you want to build a solid foundation first before you freaking spill, you freaking scale up or you build up, right? So which means you, you want to put a system in place, man. You really want to put a, a, a system in place, get a solid foundation and, and listen to me, man. And, and let me know if this makes sense to you. And if this does, man, smash the thumbs up and let me know this, all right? If this makes sense to you, man. It's that, you know, it takes a larger foundation, a thicker foundation to build a house, right? But it takes even a thicker foundation to build a skyscraper or to build an apartment or to build a castle. See, the foundation of a house cannot withstand. If, so if you're going to put a building on there or a skyscraper on there, the foundation, the normal average foundation to build a house cannot withstand right the skyscraper it cannot withstand the mansion so I'm telling you sometimes the bigger your goal is maybe the more like like you have to build a solid and a bigger foundation so it's gonna take you a it's gonna require and takes you time all right to actually do that so when I so 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 when we got into the wholesaling man my wife and I took like six months putting a system together putting a team in place it takes time to train them, 
right? And we, and we felt like nothing was moving. We were doing so many deals, but then we only do one deal a month, you know, or maybe two deals a month. And to me, it's like, wow, uh, like we're not going at the pace we're supposed to be. But man, after we got the team in place, we got the system in place, and then we become more organized, then everything just boom, right? And then once we launch the market, right? Once, once we put, push out the marketing, we got a team in place, we got the system in place, everything was just, everything was just going like that. So that's what I want to jump in and share with those of you who are just going right now. You're hustling, you're hustling, you're hustling, you're going, man. Sometimes you've got to get, you've got to let the dust settle, man. You gotta let the dust settle, man. I look tired, bro, dude. I just came out the gym, bro, and I can't, I can't be loud, cause I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here at the bar, and there's, uh, and there are people around, so I don't want to be so loud. Otherwise, man, like I want to go outside and I want to show you guys what's up. <laughs> Yeah, man, dude, I am miss being loud, dude. I am miss being loud because this is this is just not me. It's, I felt like I'm it felt like I'm holding something back, man. I just wanna freaking unleash it, and I felt like I'm holding something back. But everybody's you know sitting and eating, and obviously you, I definitely wanna uh, be polite, uh, uh, be polite to them. Um, but anyway, I also wanna jump in, and, and I also wanna talk to those of you guys that you know that 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 you are you are debating, you are debating, you're sitting on the sideline. Maybe you've been um, you, you've been researching about this business. You've been talking to your friends, your family, or, or or whatever it is, but you haven't took the action, right, to make it happen. I encourage you, man. Take advantage of of, of what you're being exposed to. Take massive action. And how I learn, I'm going to share with you how I learn, man. Um, how I learn is that typically I gather, I get enough information, just just enough for me to take the next action. Like I don't want to I don't want to overload. And a lot of times, you know, overload will cost you procrastination. Uh Dude, I am like, dude, this this is this is just not me right now, man. This is just not me right now, man. I'm about I I just want to oh. Uh. Okay, so those of, you, those of you who haven't followed me on Instagram, man, hit me up on IG, go to Kong, K H A N G. Actually just went to the wife and um uh and with my mentor uh, to the beach yesterday at Ahoya, 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 something like that. It sounds like Hawaii, but it's not. It's here in San, uh, San Jose, man. We hang out with some, uh, we hang out with some seals and and sea lion. I can't tell the difference. They look exactly the same to me, man. I'm scared of cold calling and talking to seller. Jocelyn, let me help. I think that's how you pronounce it. Jocelyn, Jocelyn, Jocelyn. Let me help you overcome that, Jocelyn. Um, let me help you overcome that, Jocelyn. If you haven't joined me on the Friday Live Cold Call Roleplay, I know I didn't do it yesterday because I didn't have the time, but join me join me on the Live Cold Call every Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard. I do a Live Cold Call Roleplay uh, where I jump in and actually give you tips and feedback and help you really overcome the cold call because I know a lot of you guys are stuck or afraid to cold call. And let me tell you, um, let me share something with you, Jocelyn. If you want to make it in this business, you have to overcome and you have to get over being uncomfortable and how and, and how you're gonna do that Joshua I, I I don't know what you're afraid of or what you're you what you're scared of but the worst thing that can happen is they cuss at you and they hang up the phone that's 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 like the ultimate worst that it can happen is they cuss at you and they hang up on the phone on you and don't take it personal it's just business right it's just the nature of the beast it's just business it's part of the business and you just have to like move on like just shake it off act like okay who cares that person doesn't need your service. They don't need your help, obviously. So just move on to the next person. There are people out there, Jocelyn, that, that is waiting for your phone call. Believe it or not, they're waiting for your phone call because they don't know that there is someone out there that's doing what we're doing right now. All right? So pick up that call and call. The worst thing is they cuss at you and they hung up the phone. Nothing else. So I don't know why you be you would be afraid of it. And I promise you, after 10 cuss out, after like 10, 20 people cuss you out and hang up on you, you will build up like you will build like like you will build up thicker skin, and eventually like you will get on the phone like it's nothing, expecting you're gonna ha get hang up and get cussed at. Like it doesn't really matter to you anymore, right? But you have to do it so you can overcome it. 
right? You just have to do it to overcome it. Now, I don't know what's really holding you back. Like, after I tell you that, what else is holding you back, Jocelyn, from pulling the trigger, from getting on the phone to, to call? Maybe you think you have to be professional. Maybe you think you have to know, like, you have to be professional. Like, you have to be, like, an expert. You have to be good. Like, you have to, like, 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 you're afraid because you're not good enough. Let me share something with you, Jocelyn. When you get on the phone with the, with, with, with another person on the other side, it's not about being professional. It's about, it's about being caring, right? Being genuine. Just being you as a human. That's it. So I hope that helps you out, Jocelyn. It's just being you, being human, right? Don't have to worry about, you You have to know everything. To You have to know all the answer. Don't need that. You don't have to be all professional, all right? All right? You just need to be you, be caring, and be as a human. And this is what you do. And then that's it. That's it. And if you don't know the answer to their question, Jocelyn, just say that I don't. Like, I'll be like, Jocelyn, um, unfortunately, I don't have the answer to that question. I wish I do, but I don't. Um, but what I do is that I can, I, can, uh, I can actually send that questions over to my team manager and then I can get back to you with the correct answer, with the correct answer. Is that okay? Like, you don't need to know all this answer, Jocelyn. You just say, hey, if you don't know the answer, just come up with an excuse. Hey, I need to talk to my senior reps. I need to talk to my team manager to get you the correct answer. It's the correct answer. And that's it. And then you just move on to the next questions, all right? But I'm telling you, there's there's really nothing scary about cold calling. And I understand it's easy for me to say it. You'll be like, Kong, you don't understand. I understand, Jocelyn. I did everything. When I first started out, I cold call. I drive for, I did everything. And I'm telling you, the only way to overcome it is to pick up the phone and knowing that the worst case that it can happen is they cuss out you and they hung up the phone and they don't want to work with you or they don't want to deal with you. But it's okay. There are seven billion people, all right? There, there, are, there, are, there are millions of people, not just them, all right? So I challenge you, I dare you, all right, to believe in yourself, to take that leap of faith, to overcome your fear, Pick up the phone after we're done with the live stream. Actually, you know what? Right now, I want you to get off the live stream, Jocelyn. Go pick up the, the phone call and call three for sale by owner. And you see, Jocelyn, confident is not about, it's not an overnight thing. All right, Jocelyn, confident is not an overnight thing. It's over time, Jocelyn. It's over time. It's over time. Once you pick up that first call, you talk to that seller. All right, you talk to that seller and you know, oh, there's nothing. Oh my God. They're great. I love talking to them, but I can't make a deal. It's okay. Move on. The next one cuss you out. Oh, no big deal. Move on to the next one. All right. But for you, for you, for you to like, for you, I want to see you overcome that. I want, you know, you know, I want to see you overcome that, Jocelyn. And I want you to understand that, 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 that nothing is going to happen. The worst thing is they're going to cuss at you and hang up on you. So I challenge you to get off the live stream. I challenge you to call three for sell by owner, and then maybe tomorrow call three more. The next day call five. The next day call ten, and eventually, Jocelyn, you're confident it's gonna build up, where it's like it's a piece of cake to you. It's like talking to a friend, picking up. Okay, your friend don't pick up. Oh, like you like, uh, you know what I'm saying. But the thing is, Jocelyn, like if you need a guidance, like if you need a guidance, a layout of question to ask and how to talk to the seller, then you should check out my King Kong seller script package. I'll share with you, Joshua, exactly how to talk, how to negotiate, and how to dominate the phone call. The link is in the description. It's $4.95, but promise me, promise me that when you make the investment, when you're gonna buy it, that you're gonna take action on it, that you actually gonna put it to use. Otherwise, Joshua, if you're not ready and if you're not committed in this business, just don't waste your money, all right? So promise me that if you are going to buy it, you are going to put it to work. All right? You are going to implement it. You are going to use it. Don't just buy and just put it there and waste the $4.95. Promise me that. All right? But I promise you, like, if you study it, if you study it, and if you put it to use, it, like, when you get on the phone, I promise you, you're going to be more confident. You're going to know what to say, how to talk to the seller, how to handle objection. I'll show you everything from A to Z, how to overcome that and then how to lock property on my contract over the phone. All right, Jocelyn. 
uh, Kong, I got your script and how do I use to cold call? Oh, Rico, it's really easy, Rico. Um, I actually shared that with you in the video. All right, Rico, I actually shared that with you in the, in the video. But this is how you do it, man. It's one script that fits all. I don't care if you door knock. I don't care if you cold call. I don't care if you see in the streets. It's very, very easy, Rico. All you do is this. All you need to do, Rico, is you change the intro. So if I were calling you, Rico, I know nothing about you. I don't care about, I don't need to know your name. I don't need to know the property address. I just need the phone number. And this is what I would say. And then you, you would say, hello. I would say, hi, my name is Kong. I'm with a local investment company. And uh, we're actually looking to buy some property in the area for cash. We're looking to buy three to five more properties. I'm just wondering, do you have a house or a property that you might be interested in selling? That is your pitch. That's your pitch, right, Rico? Now, if they say, um, yes, I do have a property that I might consider selling. Oh, fantastic. May, may, um, you know, may I get your name? Oh, who do I have the pleasure to speak with? Um, this, oh, it's Rico. Oh, hi, Rico. Now, in case we get disconnected, um, it, what's the best phone number to, for me to call you back on? Okay, fantastic. Is that happen to be your cell phone? Great, thank you. Oh, it's not? Um, can I get your cell phone? Uh, you don't want to get that info? No problem, no problem at all. And is this a good time for us to chat for a few minutes? You see that? And then, Rico, you just go into the script. But all you need to do, man, is you just need to change the intro. Keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate this, man. Keep it simple, dude. Change the intro, and then once, the, once, you, once they start wanting to talk to you, then you go through the script. That's it. All right, bro? Okay, I don't know if I'm still live, but I got like another minute or so. The wife is done, so we're about to head out. So, so the thing is, you guys don't overcomplicate this. I don't care if they're pre-foreclosure, they're short sales. Like, I don't care if, if they're in any kind of situation. You do not want to make it seem like you're targeting. You just want it to be like a genetic call, all right? You just want it to be like a, it's like a, a random phone call, genetic phone call, where you're not targeting them specifically. Nobody wants to be targeted. Nobody wants to know that there are people out there that know they're in a, a, a situation where they're getting for, foreclosed on or their, their house is about to go into a, 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 a short shell. Build up the relationship and I promise you the seller will open up to you why they would sell you the, like what's the reason why they would sell the property, all right? So, so, so it's just build the relationship and then have them open up to you the situation, the circumstances that they're going through, all right, you guys? So just keep it simple and don't overcomplicate. For those of you who are just starting out, learning this business, if you if you feel lost, overwhelmed, stressed out, like you don't even know like what to do, what step to take first, who like who to listen to, like you just don't know exactly what to do. And if you like the way that I share with you, then the link is in the description. Check out my step-by-step -step guide how to wholesale houses. I teach you how to do it actually virtually. But if you want to meet a uh, seller face to face in person, it's the exact same step. But I'll show you from A all the way to the Z, bro. From A to Z, exactly how to do this business. One step at a time. And I make it extremely, extremely simple. Because your man King Kong is a high school dropout, man. I don't like complicated things. So I'll share with you a video exactly how to do it from finding a title company to finding the motivated seller to finding the cash buyer. Whether you do it in your own market, virtually or not, I don't care. I'll show you how to pick a market and all of that. Like from A to Z, man. But really, before you even make the purchase, please look me in the eye, promise me. Kong, I am ready, I am committed, man. I really, I just want to change my life, bro. I wanna take my life, my business to a whole nother level. I'm really sick and tired of where I'm at, man. I'm tired of seeing my, my, my next year to be the same as my last. And I, I'm tired of the position I'm in right now, bro. And for those of you, if you're happy, if you're satisfied, then obviously this is not for you. Continue to do what you're doing, man. Because at the end of the day, man, all we want is just to be happy. So if you're happy, you're content, you're satisfied, then this is not for you. And it's only for those of you who knows that there's more to life. You want more in life. You want to build a business. You want to be financially free. You want to get to the financial freedom, right? You have goals and dreams and bigger ambitions that you want to go after. And you want to make wholesaling as that business, at that, you know, your business, that vehicles that will take you there. Then the link is in the description, man. It's $4.99. But once again, listen to me, man. I want you to, if you do buy it, make a commitment 
and, and, and you can look me in the eyes and say, Kong, I am ready. I am committed, man. I want to be able to travel the world, man, and be able to virtually wholesale and make money from anywhere. Because that's what I do. All right, you guys. And also, too, is for those of you, like, you don't have, um, I do want to let you guys know that PayPal does, do, does have PayPal credit. So they actually have PayPal credit where they don't check your credit. And if you have PayPal with them, they actually, you can call them in and they'll give you a PayPal credit like that without no, no credit check, no nothing. All right. So for those of you who ask me, hey, Kong, uh, do you do any kind of financing? Can I make a payment or anything like that? I don't do it. But PayPal will do it for you. You just need to call them up and let them know, you know that you want to sign up for PayPal credit and they'll give you a PayPal credit. They don't check your credit score. They just check your history, how long you've been with PayPal and how good you are. And they'll give you credit. I think they, I, I think it goes all the way up to like 5,000 or even more than that. It, it depend on, uh, <clears throat> depend on where you're at with them uh, and things like that. All right. But, but please, man, like, like, like don't get into it, right? Don't get into, don't make the investment. If you are not ready, <coughs> if you are not committed, I want you to understand that this business is not easy, it's not an overnight success, it's gonna take a, and require a massive amount of work, man. Massive, massive amount of work. You gotta be so driven, you gotta be so ambitious, you gotta be a freaking true hustler and a go-getter, man. Like G-O-A-L, like a go-getter to really bring your dreams, your visions into life. Dude, I started this real estate, man, eight years ago. I never would have thought that, you know, that you can actually make money in real estates, like, virtually. Like I said, who would sell their house virtually over the phone? But here I am, man. I was, we, we, we just went to Hawaii, came back from Hawaii for four days. Now we're in San Diego for a week. We're still doing deals. We're still closing deals. It's all possible, man. <clears throat> you got to believe it. And then you got to believe in yourself. Then you got to take massive actions. All right, then you gotta take massive action. Believe that it is possible. Believe in yourself that you can do it. Have faith in your abilities and then just take massive actions. And, <clears throat> and listen to me, just don't procrastinate. I don't care if it's me or somebody else or whatever it is that you wanna do, but I, I know that some people procrastinate because they're afraid to take this, they're afraid to, to, to pull the trigger, all right? Whatever that is, <clears throat> because they're afraid that it might be the wrong decision. But let me tell you, let me tell you, man. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. In life and business, dude, it's, it's just like a gamble. You just roll the dice and you just don't know, but you gotta take that step, right? You gotta take that step because if you don't, how do you know if it's right or wrong? The only way that you know if it's right or wrong is you make the move. But if you stand in one spot, man, if you don't move, like you will never get it figured out. Like you will never get it figured out. Just, just, you just have to believe that whatever decision that you take, that you decide to do, you just have to believe that whatever the outcome is, two things, you have the choice to change it. Two, is that whatever happens, it happens for you, not against you. You just have to, you just have to believe it, man. There, dude, I made so many, I made so many decisions where I don't like I, I like 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 I like I have no clue like I, like I don't even like I don't know if it's right or wrong but I made it anyway I made it so I say okay if it's a mistake well at least at least I know how to adjust right I, I, I know how to adjust but if you don't if you just stand in one spot then how would you know right you were just sitting in the sign line watching other people making the move making the money to, you know so, so whatever that is, I, 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 I'm just telling you, but just make the move, man. We really do make things simple, so much more complicated over analyzing a lot of things. Yeah, man, just, 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 just don't, don't overcomplicate things, man. Make it simple, man. I mean, our business, dude, our business model is extremely very simple. We market, the call comes in, the girl takes down the call. If the seller wants to sell, motivated to sell, then it moves to my purchase manager. My purchase manager lock it up, then it moves to my transactional coordinate, then it goes to closing. If the, if the call come in, if the seller doesn't want to sell the property, or want, right, doesn't want to sell the property, then it moves to, uh, then they just set it as a follow-up. Um, but if the seller uh, set an appointment for my purchase manager, and if my purchase manager couldn't lock it up in the contract, right, then it goes back to the first person that talks to the seller, and they continue to follow up with the seller until the seller sell the properties, 
to the to us or to someone else. It's extreme. Like it's like it's it's only simple because I've been through it. But I know for those of you, man, I've been there. That that that, that you don't go through. It sounds complicated. I understand that, and that's why I'm sharing with you. As I'm sharing with you the experience that I went through, man, the headaches, the journey that I went through. Right, even till now, trying to get to the next level, trying to piece all the puzzles together. And when you talk to the person that's already there, they like Kong. It's very simple, man. It's this, 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 this. I was like, bro, shit, man. It's simple for you, dude. Right? I said it's simple for you, man. <laughs> but come on, man. Right? It's not simple for me, dude. So, so that's why I'm sharing with you is that don't overload yourself with information. Figure one puzzle out at a time. Okay, here's what I need to do. Boom, done. Do that. Don't overload. Stop watching shit. Don't don't watch any more stuff. And then once you get to a wall, then figure out, okay, well, well, now what do I do? Okay, now go find the information for that. Take that action and do it. Right? That's it, man. Just 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 don't try to just don't try to throw all the puzzle out there and then try to put it all together, dude. It's it's gonna be you're gonna feel overwhelmed, you're gonna feel lost, and it's gonna cost you procrastination. Right? It's gonna cost like you don't wanna do anything. Anyways, you guys, whatever I just share with you, like my tips, my opinion, my experience throughout this whole journey, if it's applied to you, if, if it adds value to you, like, like if, it, if I reach you in any shape or form, boom, smash that thumbs up for my King Kong, man. All right, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, hit me up on IG, go to Kong, K-H-A-N-G dot, like a period, W-T-M. And for those of you who made who made it in my 5K Masterclass, man, I'm sharing with you all the biggest player in your area that are cash buyers. So I hope that our next mastermind, man, I'll be able to bring that to the table and share that with you guys and add more value to you. The 5K Masterclass, unfortunately, I got to tell you guys that, man, King Kong is not doing the 5K Masterclass anymore, man. Um, it takes too too much of my time, and um, it takes too much of my time, and the money is just not there for me. Like it's just it's just not worth it for me. So I've I, I, so I, so so I'm right now at the collective genius. So if I were to do this again, it will be a 10k, not a 5k. So for those of you who are actually in the 5k masterclass, congrats, you got lucky. <laughs> but but if I'm gonna do another class, it'll be a 10k class, not a 5k class. I'm sorry, man, because it's, it's too much time of me involved in it. And all the information and everything that I that, that I give in there, and it's all about obviously adding value and get you guys to the next level. But it's not worth it for me at a five thousand dollar piece. All right, just an FYI. I just want to throw it out there. Also, too is I got two students right now, like at at the CG, dude. Like my whole mindset is just I like I just want to change everything up, dude. Um, so the people that um, so I got two student right now, right? Two student right now. One that uh, one that paid. Um, so I I used to charge 35k, 35k for a one-on-one -on -one mentor. I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore. You guys gotta understand, man. I, like 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 mentoring and YouTubing and all that. It's not my main gig, so I don't care. Like I don't care if you pay pay it. You pay me. You see the value in it, or you don't. Like I really don't care. Like my other, my, 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 my main source of income right now is my wholesaling. So whether you like it, you don't like it, you want to buy it, you want to invest in it, you believe in it, you want to go at it with me, cool. If you don't, like you can continue watching the free YouTube video or other people or pay other people. Like I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? It's like once, once, once it's not your main source of income, like you just don't care. You know what I mean? Like that's like, like you just don't care. That's why most people said, hey. This is my this is my full time job and this is just my part time gig, so I really don't care. So that's why I call the price where I felt like it's fair for me and it's what worth it for me to go all in. And I see some people don't see the value in it. That's cool. Uh, that's cool with me. And there are some that actually see the value in it, which I appreciate you. But it just doesn't really matter to me, man. Right? It just doesn't really matter to me. I don't know, man. I'm thinking if I were gonna do a one on one again, man. Because right now I'm training up Alex, and Alex is, you know, he's trying to get to the next level. He's trying to scale up his business. Um, honestly, man, I'm thinking for me, dude, it got to be 50 Gs. I, I, I don't feel like charging 35K anymore. I honestly don't. I, I don't feel like charging 35K anymore. It's just not worth my time. Some, some of you, I know some of you guys are going to give me some thumbs down. I know it. I don't care. I know it. But a lot of times what it is, is like, you know, eventually you're going to get to the point of your life, you're going to be the one that picks your price tag. You're going to be the one that chooses your price tag. You're going to be the one that makes the call. And it's whether or not or other people see the value in it or not, that's their call. 
All right, that's their call. But don't let anybody, man, don't let anybody decide what you what what you're worth. Dude, you decide what you're worth, man. But you gotta make sure whatever you say you're worth, you better freaking back it up with freaking value. You better back it up. That's all I gotta say, man. Like you give yourself a price tag, you better back it up. That's all I gotta say, man. That's all I gotta say. But don't let nobody dictate and decide what you worth. You decide what you worth, man. You make the call. Like I said, when you don't care, you just don't care. But don't let people decide and say, hey, um, you're worth two bucks an hour, uh, two bucks an hour. You're worth $10 an hour. You're worth this much. If that is your main thing, then maybe. But, 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 but dude, like when you get to a certain point in your life, you, you decide, man. You pick. Don't let nobody dictate your, your, your value, man. They don't know what you're going to give. They don't know, like, you know what I mean? They don't know what kind of value you're going to add. But that's it, man. You guys have any have any questions? I, dude, I can't. I honestly want to share. I want. I honestly want to ask you this, and you guys let me know. Like, I see people, man, charge five hundred to mentor, a thousand to mentor. Like, that doesn't even make sense to me. Like, do you even wholesale? Like, do 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 you even do this business? Do you know how much time it takes to mentor one person? <laughs> like, to me, man, if, if people that charge like that, I believe that wholesaling is not their main gig. I truly do. And there's not, you know, I, I truly do. I truly, I truly just don't believe it, man. Dude, because I know how much time it takes, man. How much time, how much, how much energy, how much effort it takes, man, to take somebody from where they are and then freaking bring, take them under their, your wings and then bring them and give them everything you got to take them to where they want it to be, dude. It takes a mass amount of time, work, and energy. So to me, man, those people that charge like that, dude, shh. there's plenty of those people, man. I'm just not one of them. Uh, I'm just not one of them, man. Call, how often do you mail um, to the same list? Um, we mail once a month for three months in a row, okay? One, one time a month, three months in a row, and then we switch them around. But dude, I got so much more information coming from, uh, from this mastermind that I'm gonna share with everybody in my 5K Masterclass, man. That I'm gonna share with everybody in the 5K Masterclass, dude. It's gonna freaking be bomb, dude. Bomb diggity bomb, dude. Dom diggity bomb, dude. These guys are making 400 Gs a month cold calling, and they share and they are sharing with us their cold calling system, which company they use, and all of that, bro. So I'm gonna be sharing with that. Um, those of you who are watching this, man, the, the the people that are in my 5K masterclass, you're the lucky one, cause I ain't doing the 5K masterclass anymore. Uh, so comment below if those one, dude. If I'm gonna run anything, dude, it'll be a 10K. So 10K masterclass for a 12 months period, and we're gonna meet on Zoom. And I, and I guess I'll take like 10, 10 or 20 people. I'm not exactly sure. I really want to. I really want this 5K masterclass to really take off. And let me tell you guys something. Those of you who are not in the 5K masterclass, dude. So 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 after a week of there's there's someone that's in our 5K masterclass. After a week, they got two deal lock up on a contract and about to close. And they didn't know the deals, it was the deals until they, they went on our Zoom call and I analyzed the deal with them. I told them, like, dude, get off the freaking phone and go and lock that property up on contract. And uh, I'm thinking that's I'm thinking that's the deal that they post on the uh, on the master class. So I mean, you know, to, to, to me it's like man, you 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 get to keep all the knowledge and all the information that I share with you and you pay a one time fee. Some of these guys here, man, charge even way more, man. How do you make sure the seller doesn't give the deal to another investor for more money? Stanley, um, great question, man. I know a lot of you asked me, so Kong, you know, I'm worried about the buyer going behind my back, the seller going behind my back and all that. Well, the only thing that you can do, man, is that you gotta understand when the seller signed the contract with you, Right, it becomes like, it, like, like when they sign a contract with you, they cannot legally sell the deal, like sell their property to another investor. If you're worried about that, what you want to do is you want to cloud the title, right? You want to call your comp title company up, and you want to, and you want to to cloud the title, which means the seller cannot sell that property to any. If they try to open escrow somewhere else, they cannot because it will show up that you, they already have an escrow 
already open. There's already a contract with another buyer. Uh, yes, that's the word. Yes, yes, yes. I, I can't even pronounce that word, but that is the word. Mm, yes, that's that's the word. Whatever whatever Joel just, just put down there, yes, that's the word as well. Call your title company up and say that's what you want to do, all right? And if you worry about your buyer, go behind your back. Listen, man, first you got to qualify. <coughs> Qualify your buyer. Get on the phone. Qualify your qualify your buyers, and have your friends, your family, your relative, your queen, or hire somebody that can be there to facilitate the showing. But let me share something with you. Throughout my through throughout this many years that I've been in real estate, man, there's there hasn't been any buyers that really go behind my back, dude. There's one that try, but we build such a we're good relationship, rapport with the seller, that the sellers just want to work with us. All right. So I'm telling you, like, but don't let that worry, man. Don't let that worry, that concern, that fear holds you back from doing whatever you need to do. If you got a buyer that excited about the deal, that are ready to go, and you don't have somebody to facilitate the showing, you want to get on the phone, qualify the buyer, prep the buyer up, and say, hey, I want you to understand that, you know, we want to do this to be a long-term business, long-term relationship. We don't want this to be a one-time thing. We want you to be professional and respect us, that when you go out there, you are representing you're, on, you're there on behalf of our company as a contractor to do the inspection on the property. Please don't discuss any pricing with the seller. Can you do that? And you just, and, and if you feel it, if you feel good about it, you feel good about the conversation, move forward. But don't let the fear of, oh, what if they go behind my back and cost you to like miss on a deal that you can actually potentially work with a buyer, if that makes sense. And I share that with you because that's, that's something that, that happens to me when I first started. I said, oh, I don't know. I just don't feel it. I need to find somebody that's a foot on the ground. I just don't feel this guy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I don't know if I should do it or not. But pull the trigger and do it. Just pull the trigger. I pro Just pull the trigger. Listen to me. Just do it. Listen to me. I'm telling you right now, whoever it is, just ask me that question. Listen to me. Get on the phone. Qualify. And if you just have to do it, pull the trigger and just do it. Nothing's gonna happen. Just do it. There you go. So just listen to me, man. Don't let the fear hold you back from being potentially making a deal happen. Just do it. Um, Bella. Okay, man. Any other question, you guys? If anything, that, if everything, if anything here on this video that I share with you, you feel related, you feel like the information is valuable, add any kind of value to you, boom, smash the thumbs up and let me know. Just give it to me like it is, man. If you feel like Kong, you 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 don't add any value, then smash the thumbs down, dude. Let me know like how it is, man. And if you're gonna smash the thumbs down, then comment in below and let me know what I need to do better, man. Just show it to me. Give it to me straight up, man. Give it to me like it is, man. Um, but anyways, how's you guys' sad today going, man? Wife and I are flying out tomorrow, man. We actually gonna, we actually supposed to fly out today, but we stay another day, dude. When when you when when you can virtually wholesale, we do, we really don't need to go home. I mean, I can stay here for another week, another two weeks. Like who cares? Whether I'm at home or whether I'm here, we're we're we're, we're still wholesaling. The only reason why we have to go back is because of our daughter. Those of you who've been following me, man, I got a little sitsu at home waiting for me, man, my princess. It's waiting for me at home, man, so I got to go back home. And obviously, you know, get back on the, my wife, she got to get back on the eating uh, eating healthy, working out, meeting up with her trainer, and all of that. Um, and also, too, if you are new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed, listen to me. Pick one or two people that you, that you feel like, hey, this is the business model that I want to learn, and this is the person that I want to learn from. Boom, if I'm one of them, then hit the subscribe button. If I'm not one of them, then don't subscribe. Like when you listen to too much people, and, and I'm just being real with you, I, 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 I might be lo losing some of you that, that's gonna subscribe, but I, I just want you to do, like I wanna give you the information that I would give to myself. Pick one or two people that you wanna follow, and you freaking zone in, follow them, listen to their tips, tricks, tri whatever that they share with you, and go and pull the trigger. Just go pull the trigger, man. When you listen to too many people, guess what happened, dude? It it becomes a conflict. It causes a conflict, and it becomes a conflict. All right? Because one person might say this, another person might say this, the other person might say this, another person might say this, and guess what happened? You'd be like, well, which one, which way is the right way to do it? Well, you just have to pick. Pick and do it. 
Okay, you know, I like how Khan did it. No, I don't like how Khan did it. I like how this guy do it. Okay, then pick that guy or pick that gal and just follow them and just do it. But if you try to blend everything in, not when you first started, man. It's 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 it's, it's going to be too much. Not 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 when you first started, right? It's like if I teach you, like if if I give you an apple pie and you eat the apple pie, you'd be like, Khan, that's a good apple pie. Dude, that's the best apple pie I ever had, man. I want to make the exact same apple pie. I'll tell you, here's the ingredients. Go home and do exactly the same as this. Nothing else. Do not add anything. Do not take anything away. Do exactly the same thing. And let me tell you, how can it not turn out to be exactly the same? What, 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 what makes it turn out to be different is because you like Kei Kong. This apple pie is excellent, bro. I love it, man. I want the exact same one. And then you, and then all of a sudden, you saw someone else, mm, the apple pie, you tried it. Oh, this one tastes pretty good. And then you'll be like, and then you combine them. Not just two, you combine three, you combine four. And then you, and then it becomes like this disaster. What, what's, let me tell you this. What's eventually going to happen is that once you get the business down, Here's what's gonna happen. Once you get the business down, once you get the process down and you know how to do it, then what you do is you turn it into your own. Then you cook, then you will come out with your own recipe. That's where your own recipe comes in. If that makes sense. But when you first start out, you just wanna pick whichever recipe that works, that you like, and then go go for that one. Does that make sense, you guys, or or, or am I confusing you? Or 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 do I not to or do I do not make sense? Like if you want to learn, if you want to learn twi uh, Taekwondo, learn Taekwondo. If you want to learn Jiu Jitsu, learn Jiu Jitsu. If you want to learn Kung Fu, learn Kung Fu. If you want to learn how to wrestle, learn how to wrestle. But if you like, one day I'm going to learn this, another day I'm going to learn this, another day I'm going to go see this mentor, I'm going to see this mentor, that mentor, and then you, and then you, guess what happened? You're not going to be good at any one of them. Like you learn a little bit here, you learn a little bit there, you learn a little bit like, 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 like does that make sense or am I just like not making sense here, man? Or am I not even live? You make a whole lot of sense, man. Yes, yeah, stay focused. Listen to me, man. Um, I might have to ask two cups so I can demonstrate. I can share something with you guys here. Uh, but I think the wife might come. So let me order something. Let me get them to, to come here and give me two cup of, of, of thing. And, and I'm going to share something with you. I'm going to share something with you guys here. I'm going to share with you like, um, what's the word they call it? Uh, not analogy. Analogy. Is that the word? Analogy? Okay, hold on a second. They're not here, so I can't get it. But anyways, I hope that makes sense to you guys, man. For those of you for those of you who's interested in the King Kong Seller Script Package, I want to let you guys know all the contracts included. I'll teach you exactly how to talk, negotiate, lock these properly up on the contract over the phone, whether you meet the seller in person or you do it over the phone, man. I'll show you exactly how to talk, how to negotiate, how to overcome and handle all the objections. The link is in the description. It's four ninety-five. All right. And if you um, if you ask me about uh, Kong, do you have any kind of payment? I don't. But PayPal do. You can use PayPal credit. PayPal does have PayPal credit. All right. They don't check your credit. They just check your history that you're with PayPal, and they'll give you an instant credit, like that. All right. For you to go ahead and make the investment. But don't just don't do. Only do it if you are ready. If you are committed. I don't want to sell you the freaking fake baloney dreams. I want to sell you the real dreams. I want to sell you your dreams. I don't want to sell you the freaking fake dreams. Don't believe, don't think that you're going to get it. And then all of a sudden, the next 30 days, or you, you, you're going to make 100000 Can you make a deal? Yeah, because I don't know your potential. 